think the the first one, uh, of course, uh, is the fact that our economies. You know, once you you tie your economy into a certain energy type, it's not very easy to change it. So this systems transformation is not going to be extremely easy. You need to have the technologies, huh? uh, and uh, and of course, you are looking also at the efficiency, uh, to the fact that what type of fuel uh, will be able to fuel your economic systems. And uh, up to today, the, the, uh, the kind of renewables, uh, the reason why they're so low in terms of, their, of, the, of the mix uh, uh, <clears throat> is largely because except for small scale uh, um, uh, usage, they, are not, they, they have not been able to upscale them to the level that they can run economies. Uh, they, uh, and therefore, I think that we, we have not invested because for one long time, you know, fossil fuel was, was, so, was relatively accessible and therefore there was no incentive uh, to, 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 to invest. It's just that now uh, we, we have a mindset change and we actually have realized that it, the threats are real and we see it uh, not because the UN is saying it in the Earth Summit or whatever, we actually see it in the changing weather patterns. We have extreme weather conditions, extreme cold, extreme drought, different rainfall patterns, you have floods, you have natural disasters, and a lot of it is happening in the Asia Pacific region. In fact, the largest casualties of natural disasters happen to be here. So in a sense, I think the, the sense of urgency uh, is now present, and, 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 and people ha have to seriously think through this energy mix and to begin to diversify. Before also, you know, um, uh, until there was a, an oil hike, people were still highly, first it was on coal and then, and then oil, but it was only because of the fluctuation in oil prices you turn to, to, to gas, but now again, because of the high prices, people are now looking at different uh, um, alternatives. Uh, many countries for a long, uh, until the, the uh, nuclear disaster in, in, in Japan was also looking at nuclear as a clean energy source, and now they have to rethink it again and look at new, uh, um, new uh, kind of, uh, possibilities as well as technologies. So in a sense, uh, we are at a stage uh, of transition. I, mean, I, I think the, the transformation itself is non-negotiable. I mean, we really have to move away from our fossil fuel dependency. Uh, but, but how we do it, what mix, what, how do we time it, how do we do it, which countries take what lead in what sector and so on, is there's a lot of policy space and discussion that, that needs to actually take place together with business. And I, I think that a business here will also have to advise government, in fact, in, in what, what works for you. Because at the end of the day, what you do not want uh, is uh, the inability to generate what is really critical still, which is uh, wealth that has to be shared.